What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 6. This is Indi Indonesia, not India. Indonesia on this TSL world map. It is... We we're definitely doing better than we were and I think I'm going to try and attack the Kaima. Khmer? Kaima, I think, this episode. Do we have any cases bell eyes? No. So I do need to denounce them, which will be 25 grievances, but there we go. I'm going to attack them. Why not? We've got plenty of boats. Let's see how it goes. It might go horribly wrong. But hey-ho. A little bit of fun. We do need to get a boat that can actually conquer the cities. We have a lot of Jongs, which are frigate replacements. So I would assume, unless I'm missing something, that we would need to get a privateer or something that can just sneak in and actually conquer the city. But yeah, we have plenty of... My demands must be met. Okay, you're demanding money from me. You sure you want to do that? You sure? You really sure? You sure? There's no way you're within number two and seven of having the biggest army. Like, surely not. Poor Arabia in last for everything. Feel bad for them there. But yeah, this would be pretty good. It will give us a foothold in mainland Asia. Give us the opportunity to, I think, one day attack India. Because at the moment we just can't because they're not coastal enough. Can't really actually get to them. I don't really. Ha I only have like four land units. It's not not really particularly a good time. And most of them are outdated and not great until we get a need to mine anyway. And even that might not produce enough. Hopefully it does though. Oh, what is this? Uh, my troops are merely passing. Uh, where, what, where did, what was I looking at? What is this? That is that a fishery? Oh. It looks very modern, considering the era our sieve's in. But whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, Caravel, no, privateer. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Just something to conquer the city. I can probably buy one as well, just to make sure we have enough. But yeah, that's perfect. That's sort of what I was looking for. Set up here. I can't declare the war for a few more turns, but let's get. That can't hurt. How many boats do we have? So we've got three up this way, fourth one here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'm trying to move them around. They can't actually. I don't want to move too close. Nine, ten. Okay, this one's kind of stuck here. Just skip your turn. 10, 11, 12, 13. They're not even, even all going to be able to get close enough, but there we go. 15 and 16, if you include that one that's already moved. This turn, right, this city, produce, can you get me something in two turns? That is the big question. Where is the privateer for? No. Okay, although this, this is a different city. Um, can you get anything decent? I can get the amphitheater done. This city... Oh. Uh, I guess just go for units again. Um, there we go, get a Jong. And I will purchase... How much? Jeez, how expensive a privateer? 745. Okay, well next turn. We'll be able to get one. We can't declare war for a few more turns anyway, so... It's not a big, big deal. I think it's 10 turns maybe for the formal war. Or whatever it is. But there we go. Plenty of our ships arriving. This island should be pretty easy. I don't know if we can shoot across the island. Hopefully from all the tiles. I'm not really sure. But if we could surround it. That would obviously make it a very quick. And ideal scenario. And then obviously we'll move upwards towards the other cities. But yeah we probably have more boats actually. Than capable. But they're unique. They're going to be pretty good. Hopefully this all works out. They look a bit weird. I can, especially when frigates are so big, like they look really big and weird. Actually, no frigates. I don't know. What, I've forgotten what frigates look like. To be fair, I don't know. The, the battleships definitely look way too big. But there you go. Uh, done. Okay. One hundred and sixty-six. Four. Right, we got another trade route available, so I will get a trader. Once some of these current productions are done, we got another three ships on the way, which is pretty useful. I guess another caravel to explore wouldn't hurt. And we have entered the industrial era, and of course we have entered a golden industrial era. So a lot of people congratulating me, or, you know, jealously. There we go then, it is war, hopefully that doesn't uh, reflect, because that was a bit early. But he called me out, so I guess we've just got to declare it at this point. Right, let's see, Jong, how far can you shoot? Not very far. Please do a lot of damage. Okay, not... Not great, not terrible. I'm trying to sneak that one round. It might be a bit exposed because of it. It looks like they can't shoot over the hills, which uh, sort of sucks. But there you go. 
pillage this tile? Not really, because it's going to be mine, hopefully. Like, it doesn't make sense to pillage it. Okay, shoot. Okay, well, we're doing some good damage either way. The problem is trying to get round. Um, I guess we'll just move on to the next city as well. Like, there's no point. No point stalling. Let's just move on and get as close close to as many of the cities as we can within shooting range. We're going to probably have to go round because these boats seem to have blocked the path. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, stay there. Build a mine. Nice, and that's boosted rifling. There we go. Send some more of these ships over. India, do you want to give me open borders? Um, make deal. I don't know if they would be willing to do this. Nope, they cannot accept. Okay. Okay, fine. Dedication. Here we go. So anyone, a heroic age for the Zulu, mostly golden ages, a few dark ages as well. Three population for cities on different con. No. Unlock special cases, Belli. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we could have used that. Right, one turn. <laughs> Um, production towards wonders, no, traders cannot be plundered. I guess that's going to be pretty good if we're at war. A lot of stuff is going through the sea randomly where I can't see it, so that, that works out for me. Hello Australia, do you mind having that ironclad right next to me? Is that there for a reason? Or you just... Okay, we now need 139 era score. Not sure if that would be possible. Your borders are too close to him. Sorry, mate. Didn't realise you could have said about that a long time ago. Wait... Why'd you wait till now? <laughs> okay, we can now purchase the unit I need, the privateer. We haven't got one being built as well, but uh, that's two turns away. But yeah, this city should get pretty low fairly soon, judging on it. And are we going to take too much damage? No, very limited damage. This one took a bit more because I put it too near the encampment. Um, so if I move it back, it should be fine. Uh, we're also at war with China. Oh, obviously China was defending the Khmer. That's a shame because I really like China. But there we go. That's changed. Um, where's Japan? Japan have got no opinion. I don't know if they like us or not. Obviously, they don't either. But they would be a great ally. Just We could dominate the sea together. It would be amazing. But probably not going to happen. But yeah, we're at war with China as well. So I guess maybe I'll just conquer all of this and become a powerhouse. Maybe that's the way to go. I doubt that will be particularly possible. But yeah, we'll, we'll start with this island first. It's the, the obvious sort of spot to start with. Okay, my turn. We've begun to accumulate resources. Good. Right, can you shoot the city? Yes, from there. Good. You come round. Can you not... What's... How can you only move one tile? Stupid zone of control stuff. Right, there we go. We are doing some damage. We're going to break through the walls of this city. Yeah, you can't shoot, so you may as well come there. Shoot into that city. You come away so you don't die to the encampment. Okay, now they can shoot further. I don't get... Maybe it's the movement that I gave them, but this one can't shoot over the land. But it can move around here. Nice. For whatever reason that the other ones couldn't. There we go. We are making some progress here. Here we go. This is doing better. There we go. Now there's two, so the encampment will get confused, hopefully. Let's just push all these boats in and suffocate them, like trap them, make sure they don't send anything sneaky out, and we've got them pretty much locked in there. Come back over here, right, stay there, and finally purchase the important unit for all of this, the privateer, the big one, the one that's going to have to conquer all of these cities, and this one hasn't shot yet. So there we go, that city is almost down to zero health, that is pretty good. Good turn so far, we should be adding this, and hopefully we'll deal with the loyalty issues that we may face by just... Oh my goodness, there are so many boats in that bay, look at it. In this sea. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realise we had so many, but there we go. They are showing their effectiveness. I imagine the only thing that's going to hold us back now is actually the speed that the privateer takes to get here. Apart from that, I think we should be fine. Take some damage, we'll have to move those boats out, but look, there's, there's two to take the place of each one. That takes a little bit of damage. Not too concerned with that. Looking good. We can see most of the map. Things are things are generally working out. We're probably not going to win. Like, the sad of you know, I don't want to don't want to be a downside. But one, we don't have any real tiles to put a spaceport on, which would be like the most plausible victory, I guess, a science one. But yeah, there's way too many sieves, and some of the North American sieves are like miles <laughs> ahead of us, I would imagine. So we don't need to worry. It, the goal is not to win on a TSL map. Obviously it's good if you could, 
but like domination is out of the question it's just too difficult among other things was this defeated i met player oh it's not us that's fine don't know who that was but they are gone and probably to the zulu judging from that occurring right here is a caravel which i'll just use to explore although it could also go and be a fairly useful unit to conquer cities yeah the privateer is going to be quite far away for a couple of turns but there we go we get two boats in one turn can't argue with that another privateer let's come over and deal with this but yeah let's make sure this city goes down to zero we'll take a promotion just because we can there we go we'll keep this city at zero health oh they have another one there dang it okay that's going to get us um you move back this one take another shot you recover retreat you can stay no don't stay there move back move in here and these ones there we go ideal scenario and you just fall back for now perfect that encampment's going to be a bit annoying but that is all you have to worry about really choose productions again let's get another privateer quickly is there any new buildings we've unlocked for this city yet no just get the walls i guess uh this one again yeah we've built everything <laughs> i guess when we're limited on districts that's how it's going to be i guess but uh, you can't shoot that one just shoot that one again they're both on zero health it's just a just a waiting game now oh can you oh no our oh, promotion perfect timing saves us but yeah the privateer is on its way we should be able to capture taiwan taiwan this turn and then if we can get this other one soon probably get the northern one that will be a coast for us to control and then i like i said i don't think we'll be able to get the inland ones just yet maybe we'll be able to get this city off china as well maybe but that'll probably be as about as far as it goes i'm afraid and then obviously we we'll have to keep a bigger eye on japan i guess they will be a bigger neighbor bigger concern but we'll see how it goes i'm sure it'll be fine a lot of people getting angry at us india is very angry Japan, okay, he decided he didn't, doesn't like us too much. The Zulu do. I guess that counts for something. <laughs> Jong units available promo for promotion. That could be any of them. There's, there's so many at this point. It's getting pretty ridiculous. Unmet players been defeated. As was Arabia, so they're no longer bottom of the demographics list. New Sid, it's now Samaria. And somebody we haven't met, so maybe someone deep into Europe or something. Production towards range unit. No, I'm keeping it on the naval units. That's worked well for us so far. What was the other one? No idea. Civic, right. Colonialism. That is boosted, so let's quickly grab that. Privateer, can you. Okay, let's try and clear a path, please. <laughs> Oh, we can form some cores, uh, or not even cores, I can't remember what they are in this game, but the equivalent. How did you fail? What? Can privateers not conquer cities? Is that, are we going to find out this tragedy now? Am I going to find this tragedy out? I'm sure you guys knew already. Okay, we can form a lot of promotions. Um, let's merge some of these into some amazing little combos. There we go, that will strengthen them all. Normally, I think their beds are off like this. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this can't conquer cities. I've been an idiot. In which case, I will rush to get some caravels. I don't know where that other one I sent was. Right, this boat is just here to protect this city. Don't go anywhere. This caravel rush up this way. Hopefully, that is we can still conquer these. Hopefully, but be a bit disappointing if not. Industrial zone. There we go. Just slap that down there. Another privateer. Maybe can't. I swear, I swear they can conquer cities. Promotion. Double adjacency bonuses from commercial hubs and harbors. That sounds good. There we go. Oh, we got another one. Two gold per turn for each citizen. Bingo. Which is what? 26 gold per turn. That's really good. And again, you merge. There we go. Making all of these. Is it fleets? I don't know what they're called. There's fleets, armadas. I think this is fleets but there we go there's plenty of those they've all doubled up so they're all gonna be a lot stronger combined so that'll be pretty useful and less for me to manage i guess there's less of them all getting in each other's way they take up less space probably the best region reason to do it 
still taking some damage, but I think we should be fine. I'm very disappointed. I hope that privateer can conquer the city next turn, or we're going to have some issues. We have to wait a bit longer. Right, we've got a copy of pearls left. Would you, If I throw that in, would you throw in some whales? Yes, perfect. There we go. That works out for everyone. Bringing in some extra amenities. Yes, let's have an embassy, Russia. Sounds good to me. Soldiers, we're up to third now. So that is obviously building all those boats even more recently has really helped, which is a surprise. Wouldn't have expected to put us in third, but there you go. Indonesia on our way. We're about to get hit with a disaster, aren't we? All the volcanoes, they're going to erupt at the same time. It's coming. I can feel it. Yep, there we go. Catastrophic eruption. Luckily, not too close. Um, just, yeah, this one here doesn't, hasn't seemed to have broken anything. Right, can you... Oh no, it's because the city still had health. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. That was my fault. Right, okay. You... There's a way to do it. Okay, I want to give everyone the promotions first. I don't know if they actually carry over, but there we go. There's a way to do it if you don't want to lose the boats. Right, you come out this way quickly. Wait, oh no, that is a... Okay, I think they're all now in these units as such. That one needs to come over, but... More privateers arriving. I'm sure next turn will be the turn we get them. But for now, that will be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.